Hi, it's Jen with another Tech Tips 411 tutorial. I'm continuing with my Canvas series and highlighting features and tips and tricks I think you need to know. If you are interested in EdTech tips and tricks, be sure that you're subscribed to the channel so you're updated for future videos. So let's jump in. If you haven't watched the first couple of videos in this series, please make sure you check those out. It's all about the features in Canva, how to get started, and how to publish. But I want to show you some other features that I think are really important. One of which is being able to create a brand kit. So once you've logged into your Canva account, over on the left hand side, you can see that there is a brand kit. This is really powerful if you want to make sure that you are consistent with including the right colors and logos for your school, your district. I've already got two brand kits that I've included in here. It's pretty cool that I support multiple schools in my district. I could actually have each of my school's logos in there. So if I wanted to drill down and include those specific colors and images, I could do that. So notice I have a Tech Tips 411 brand kit as well as a as well as an APS one. So when you open up the brand kit, you'll see that it has the logo and it has the colors that are pulled from the logo and any accompanying colors that you might want to use. So let's see how we create a brand kit. I'm gonna go over here to the right hand side and I'm gonna pick brand kit. I'm gonna give it a name. I'm just gonna call it demo. And notice I can upload and you can have multiple logos that are aligned with that brand kit. There's my Tech Tips 411 logo and I'm gonna grab it. This is what's magical. As soon as I upload it, it automatically grabs the colors that it recognizes inside that logo. This is great to make sure that you are getting the right colors. I know for us in Atlanta Public Schools, we want to make sure we're using the right color orange and the right color of teal to match the branding. So I can keep those. I can also add colors. So if you want to accompany colors for things, maybe I like to use white and a couple other shades of blue just to kind of accompany what I'm designing with that aren't exactly matching my logo, but go with it. So I can actually add to the color palette by picking some other colors if I want. I can do that by putting in the hex color number if we want. So I can add that. I'm gonna add another color as well, maybe a, a blue. And as you can see, I can add other colors that are gonna go in that brand kit. Additionally, I can go here to the heading style. I can choose a font so that when I'm using this brand kit, I'm gonna always have a particular font that is used. This is great because a lot of businesses or districts have that specific requirement for branding and consistency. So I can choose that anytime I use this, I use a particular font. I'm just gonna pick one for right now. And I can choose a heading style font and then I can even upload my own. So what does that look like when you're about to design something? Notice this is my demo. I've got a few uh, different colors than I have here. I'm gonna actually go in to create a design. If I was gonna create an educational video, I could click on educational video. It's gonna give me my templates that I wanna use here. I'm just gonna scroll through here, find one that looks interesting. That looks cool. And I can apply all four pages. Now here's where the magic comes in. Can go down here on the left-hand side, go to logos. And when I do that, I'm gonna drop down and go to a different brand kit. So notice that was my Atlanta Public Schools one. Here's that demo one I just did. So I can add in my logo right there. That's where you're gonna find your logos. But now we wanna drill down and actually get the colors that we picked. So I'm gonna go up here to styles. So under styles, you'll notice that I have these different ones I can choose from. So I can choose any of those as well as these recommended ones. But because I've come up with a custom style in my brand kit, if I were to choose, I wanna use these colors, I can pick that and notice how it automatically changed that to the colors that I picked. I can even shuffle it and see it remix the colors that I want it to use. I can even pull from my color palette and use that as well. This is a great way to make sure that you have a consistent look for your designs. So thanks so much for watching. If you found this video beneficial, give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much.